already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I say hi. Shout out to the subscribers, that gang, 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 gang. And everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing, without y'all there is no us, you know what I'm saying, and all of that. Uh, shout out to everybody that's been asking me about the music. I am putting out a project in August. I think about mid-August. I have a date for you soon. When you start rapping like that, volume one, it's going to be pretty much 10 to 12 joints. I'm, I'm pretty much done with it, but now that I see people have been asking, I've been going in, I've been making some things happen, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my dog, Scrap, and uh, every, all the producers out there who reached out to me. Like I said, I'm just doing this for the people that rock with me, that want to see what I got going on and how I get busy, and it's been pretty fun putting together an actual project because I never really thought about doing it. And just real quick, I always had bars and shit like that, but when people really don't be listening, you be like, man... I'm good. Let me just focus on something else. But I've been doing it. I put a couple freestyles out. Motherfuckers been feeling it. So I've been taking it serious. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see where it goes. And if you support, you know what I'm saying? It will be around. Now, uh, speaking of support, there's some events that's going on. Uh, Shotgun Shug has his uh, boxing event coming up. He's boxing against Av, uh, O-Red versus Stiz, 40 Bars versus Josie Gino through the bottle. Bottle, the bottle. Y'all niggas remember the bottle, right? Chrome 23. Shout out to them. Um, so I want to see. I'm going to watch it. The, the press conference is going on tonight. They got Rex and NHB Mills respectfully hosting those. So I'll be peeping that. And I'm going to peep the event. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see. Bing, 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 bing. Who ain't really got, who really ain't got hands like that. You know what I mean? It is what it is. I'm personally good. I don't really, you know what I'm saying, want to get into all of that. But I watch it and I'm a fan of it. And you know what I'm saying? We'll see where it goes. Uh, it's a couple things going on in battle rap. Most notably, uh, Knowledge to God has been brought to the center of attention because of the uh, interview that Smack had on the Uppercut Podcast. He got away with it, but he ain't get away with it. Salute to them and Tiger and everything that he's got going on. Um, he did comment on Knowledge to God not getting in the events. I didn't even know this. Now, I got to talk to you. I got to talk to you. I did not know that you've been in this game for 10 years and you still showing up to events and they giving you this runaround shit. What in the 2000, what in the 2016 do you have going on? Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no fucking way. To where they, you fly into different states. They got about one time. Any league has one time to make me go through TSA, get to a venue, and not get in. I don't even know how the second time. <laughs> Knowledge. I don't know how the second time happened if they disrespected you the first time. You in an interview saying you've been to Smack's house, that's your brother. Your brother not having you fly to no different state, get there and tell you to fetch your interviews from outside, nigga. Fetch your interviews from outside. And you get there early, too. <laughs> You get there early. Uh, Nick? Yo, nigga, what up? Uh, nothing. Why you come to this motherfucker so early all the time, man? You said one o'clock? I don't give a fuck what I said, nigga. I don't get out of bed for 2.30. Don't come through this motherfucker so early next time, nigga. Understood. Every event that I ever pulled up to, Hip Hop Is Real definitely was there before I got there. Y'all niggas be there early. You shouldn't be going through that, and it's only because you do see the thing is i know why and i'm gonna say why that all of this is happening yes the spanish harlem interviews are you know what i'm saying a point of contention but you know what i'm saying it's his opinion now the thing is the thing that fucked me up about you knowledge is you said you cut you and spanish harlem spoke <laughs> and y'all said it's that time of the year it's that time to do what fantasy football Spanish Harlem is not on Max Out. He's not on Chrome. He's not on RBE. He's not on uh, Battle Academy. He's not on none of these leagues. You ain't never even met up with him to talk about a battle. You meet up with him so he could smoke pee. Now listen, you know y'all know I don't like the nigga anyway. He tried to recruit people to lie on me, so I don't got no problem with how he getting cooked. But when Knowledge says shit like, <laughs> uh, he didn't know what Spanish Harlem was going to talk about. Hey, nigga, what else do you talk about? You done interviewed this nigga with dreads. You done interviewed this nigga with a shortcut. You done interviewed this nigga with a Frank Lucas mink and y'all met at a restaurant. You cannot clap back and be clueless. That's the one thing I'm going to say now is I respect what y'all motherfuckers do. When I see you, I'm going to say what up because like I tell y'all all the time, I use y'all footage because this is an equal system. You and Uncle Rod and the people that do that, y'all supply the ecosystem 
with footage. Y'all get interviews, y'all are in the field, y'all get shit done, and we take your stuff, we talk about it, we break it down, and then when you go back out, you got more questions to ask. You bring us the work, we repackage the work and ship it out. But ain't no way you should be going through TSA, getting to an interview, and then interviewing Danny outside talking about, I ain't get in, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, played the parking lot, my nigga. <laughs> Them interviews is not that fucking important to where niggas could be treating you like a hoe. Because if a nigga treats you like a hoe from the dough, he gonna treat you like a hoe for sure. And that's, that's just what it is. Get washed. They did them just like that, you hear that? That's the lawnmower. We still cutting the grass out here with these snake ass niggas. We still cutting the grass. You know what I'm saying? That's what you hearing. But yeah, he got chopped all the way up. I saw the little, um, I got, I'm a member. I saw the clip of the interview with your man saying, you know, hip hop is real, it's not gonna be compromised. Nigga, it's too late. <laughs> it is too late. When someone can call you and tell you, take an interview down, change the title of an interview, don't talk about this, you can't come in, you gotta walk the line. <laughs> they making you walk the motherfucking line. You gonna do it this way or you not gonna get in, you know? I don't, a league would have one time to do that. Like, it was years that I didn't go to events. Not because I was scared. I've been to every event I felt like it since. But it's just, there's a, a level of treatment that you should be getting. You've been doing this shit longer than me. Let me tell you how it goes when I pull up. <laughs> I get to the event. I walk past the whole motherfucking line. I walk straight to the door with whoever I'm with, and I walk right in. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because I've earned that. You've earned that too. Wherever you go, you can't be letting these niggas play these games because what the thing is, you bring the property value down. I see people saying, oh, knowledge got, no, you can't get back. No, 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 absolutely not. He can't clap back and be clueless, my nigga. You know why, you know why it's happened. It happened because P is the nigga that's blocking you from getting to it events. You said Smack didn't do it. You said Beasley didn't do it. You said Chico's your Haitian brother. Who is the only person that would have any issue with the shit that you got going on on your channel? Hmm? The same nigga who has an issue with shit that was going on on my channel. They want to control you. You know what I'm saying? And when, see, with the way, the, way, the way it works with a lot of these niggas and a lot of these leagues, as long as you can be used, you're useful. Once you can't be used, you become useless. So I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that. like I said, I, I, I just shook my head, you know what I mean? Like, my nigga, you got 12 interviews with Spanish Harlem. I counted them, 12 joints. You think them niggas wasn't gonna feel no type of way about that shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, knowledge gotta choose his side of the street. You can't be compromised and banned at the same time. How the fuck you compromise for these niggas and they still tell you you can't get in? Oh, hell no! And then, he, and, then, and then he jumped on the interview and said, what I get out of that? What I get out of letting you in the event? What I get out of that? You, Y'all and Uncle Rod, 15 Minutes of the Fame, are only niggas that's out there promoting that shit. Y'all the only ones that be boots on the ground, cameras in people's faces doing interviews. A lot of other bloggers don't do that shit. I interview niggas on TV. I go to an event, I do not be running around interviewing people. Why? Because it's not, I just don't do it. Because you got to chase them around. You got to do this, that, and the third. No, you want to interview, we do it on TV. Niggas ain't going to turn down TV. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna turn down a TV interview. Let's keep it going. We know you respect Smack, you know what I'm saying? We know it. You're saying you've been to people's houses and all of that, but I'm looking like if I fly into another state for an event, nah, we, and I can't get in, it's the last time I'm going. I'm not doing that no more. You pulled up on Spanish Harlem in a mink, the, the Sherling joint, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, a lot of the questions that you ask, they be leading questions. Like, oh, I heard about this with the process and what's going on with this person. A lot of your charges in the past have been made to P. Like, this is the first time you really kind of went at Smack and said anything about him directly and things like that. What is your situation now, like, with P? Like, well, you know what I'm saying? Do you have an issue with P? And, you know what I'm saying? What do you, what's your situation with him now as far as... You know what you doing, knowledge? Come on, my nigga. But it really kind of threw me off. I ain't gonna lie. I was definitely thrown for a loop when I found out that you went to Orlando, my nigga, Disney, and couldn't get in the event. And it's not the first time. What? Like, that, I'm like, oh. Um. That don't, that don't seem strange to you. <laughs> that don't seem strange that you pulling up to these events, doing all this work, 
And niggas is telling you basically, yo, you interviewed them over there, or you asked this question. Hmm? I think you should prioritize what you got. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I respect hip hop is real. I ain't got nothing against knowledge. When I see the nigga, I'ma say what up to him, but I just think it's crazy, my nigga. You can't be you can't be compromised and banned at the same time, my nigga. And you talk, they talking about you, you that's my that's my brother, I've been to this person, hot man, listen. <laughs> You better get that shit out the way. And if you're going to be banned, why they can't tell you before you get there? Niggas be playing with you, man. You driving, you flying all the way out there just to find that. Nah, man, man. To each their own. If that's what you do, then that's what you do. But I'm just telling you from the outside looking in, it look crazy. Because when all these other niggas, queens flip, everybody else roll up, they walk right in. Niggas don't be having. And then they be holding you out on events that they not even selling tickets to. Get in an event and y'all don't even give out. Y'all not selling tickets for it. This shit is crazy. Um, Jay Moore, shout out to Jay Moore. I've been hearing about uh, you know, I heard his interview with Three Letter Men, basically alluding to the fact that URL wanted to sign him, but the only way that they would sign him is if he doesn't battle on the trenches no more. Like, listen, Jay Moore, if you know like I know. There is no way you could leave the trenches and maintain the same amount of win that you have. The trenches brought you back to relevance. You've been on URL before. What was the look like then? You've been around for a while. So for you to get hot and for niggas to come along and say, yo, we want you over here, but you can't battle over there. That's what I be saying about the artists. Like, you, like these niggas got to stop using the artists as pawns because they don't know the irreversible damage that that does to your career the angles that is going to be against you all for what leave youtube to jump back on the app like come on and like i said it's only because the nigga p don't like easy because of the shit that he got going on but easy's recruiting better niggas all around like there's a lot of good talent over there z the dropout the nigga was on summer madness he, he popping more on trenches he's in the trenches tournament final z the dropout uh tex uh jay moore Zan, Muwa, uh, King, Bo, they got like six or seven rigs. All these niggas over there is taking their career. Shit, even Mike P took his career to the next level. They developing better talent over there. I'm just saying, you can call like you call. I really don't care. If there were stars being developed somewhere else, I say. But it's not. So when you want to remove Jay Moore from the process that helped make him relevant again, I think that's whack. I'm gonna be honest with you because let's be for real. Jay Moore is not a big enough artist to survive on his own if that shit don't work right over there. Y'all made a bunch of people get off a card before and what happened with them? Half of them niggas don't even get booked no more. Jay Moore, you smart. Salute to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just getting ahead of the story. Because if you ain't on the Crucible no more, you don't get booked over there no more, nigga. We already know why. You ain't got to tell us. You already did. So we good on that. Um... But yeah, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not waving it. I'm not waving with that. That's kind of crazy because, like I said, Jay Moore had to rebuild his name, had to rebuild his stock, and he rebuilt that name and stock where, on the trenches. Nigga can't get hot. You just come along and say, yo, if you wanna be over there, you can't be on Chrome, you can't be on that. That now when he battle, he gonna look crazy. Jay Moore, don't let them niggas take. Don't. Don't let them niggas run that motherfucking game on you. That's some bullshit. If they wanted you, they'll say, yo, I want to put you in the best position to grow as an artist altogether. That's who somebody's concerned about you. They want to put you in the best position as an artist. Not in the best position that we could try to hurt the trenches. Like, come on, that doesn't benefit nobody. Y'all got to stop that goofy shit. Let's keep it moving. Uh, Av, shout out to Av and everything that he's got going on. I seen him going back and forth. Well, he ain't going back and forth for how he did make a statement. He said, I don't care. I don't care who he beat. He's weird and always been weird. Salute to your legacy, but I'm going to show you. 50 niggas thought they could beat Floyd. They thought that shit was basic. They thought it was boring. That looked different till you standing in front of it. Holla at your homies that stood in front of this shit. If they real, they'll tell you. They'll tell you, nah, I don't know, bro. Uh, shout out to Av. I appreciate the promotion and all of that. But, you know what I'm saying, Hollow is a dope MC, and there have been versions of Hollow that could be Av. The Hollow that battled Ill Will could definitely get with Av. No questions asked. I do believe that. Uh, the Trenches definitely takes battle rap from the superstar level and brings it back down to the street level. It's gutter, it's grimy, bars is going to hit in there, it's delivery. Niggas might be standing on your shoes, you might get ashes on you. You're going to be in that environment, you know what I'm saying? 
Av is, is acclimated to it because he's battled on the trenches more than once, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to see uh, where it goes, but I definitely thought it was a crazy statement, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to Av and keep doing what you're doing. But knowledge, you got to be smarter than that, my nigga. Stop letting niggas fly you. You flying yourself to these fucking events and niggas is telling you to fetch your interviews from the gate, my nigga. That is, that is not wavy at all. I'm sorry. There ain't no relationship in the world worth you being treated like a hoe because they don't do that shit with everybody. They do not. But you've, <laughs> you've kind of got, they put you in that role. They're like, yo, this is how we're going to carry you. And if you don't like it, it is what it is. But they know that your platform is predicated off of interviews. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to interview the artist. You have to be there and shit like that. When it comes to, like, bloggers and shit, we ain't got to be there. Just throw your fucking battles. We recap them. I'm saying but with y'all they know that they can hang and dangle this carrot over you and if you they don't feel like you walking in the line that they want you to they cut you out you know what I'm saying but now it's yeah <laughs> y'all gotta get the <laughs> hip-hop is real my nigga hip-hop is real don't don't take this substandard treatment you get into events and they treating y'all niggas like this like the fuck you mean you got robbed man who robbed Come you? on man that nigga Duff nigga Duff let this nigga duff run up on you, man. And take your shit. Now my peace, man. You ain't had your fucking gun on you, man. What the fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? That nigga stand out here like three stooges of Harlem or something, B? They're gonna let this nigga come and take your shit. Ain't you a motherfucking man? You gonna let another man take your shit, B? You done lost your privilege of getting any money, man, until you show me where that man is at. Until you find that man, you dead up here, man. You dead, man. All right? You hear what the fuck I'm saying, man? Now get the fuck off my stoop, man. Go ahead, man. Go find that man, B. Go find him, B. Unless you like being broke, nigga. Go this way, man. Hey, my man, go this way, man. Go that way, man. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We ain't doing that. But shout out to y'all niggas. Gang. Oh, nice, all right, let me hear him then. Like, you played on a beat for no reason. You don't got no bars. Right, man. I got you, man. What I said, uh, I said, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. I said, check. Uh, yo, uh, man made the slaughter. I'm hood. I still mix my pancakes with water. Okay. My man played the corner with Gramps, eights, and quarters. Okay. People lied on my name, but they can't change the aura. Uh, so who would make concern? I could bring him to you now based off the loop that I could earn. Been out the loop, but I return. Who can stop the purge? Got killers on head now. My people move without a word. Check. My favorite blick is a 44. My dog blue trial. The judge hit him with a 44. It's 20 for the split. I could get him for the 44. And when this thing done, I hit a player with 44. Wow. Divine measures. I grew up around side betters that won but couldn't stay in the game. Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, I blog, but I'm still on the block sturdy. And keep a lookout for the window because the cop's dirty. Battle who? I beat them around and drop 30. Man, I done bust more elbow moves than Brock Purdy. Hustle for real. My people gunning to kill since I was young looking for something to steal. Not a six cool black and the other one teal. I'm like Hove and 9 9 because I'm dumping the mill and I need more paper. Three, four acres. My favorite five words is we don't need no favors. Favors. Okay, that's fine. Yes. No, I get, I get, I get it in every now and then. Every now and then. All right. Now. I guess you